Hey, hey guys, how you doing? Oh my gosh, okay, I'm a little nervous. This is an impromptu video. I have no idea how it's going to turn out. I could be making a $35 mistake, but we're gonna go for it anyways. So I did an unboxing of the cloth and paper subscription box for December, 2020, and it included a coil bound 2021 planner. If you've seen, go back and see that video if you missed it. Now, I had decided the coil is not for me. I'm either gonna try to sell this or use it as a journal. And I wasn't really a fan of either of those ideas. And then enter a picture I saw on Instagram from Mom Run Craft who had put this on discs. That totally blew my mind because I have been looking for work inserts, printable inserts to put in this tool planner. This was a 2020 planner. So it was about to expire and it was clearanced for $3 and like 50 cents, $3 and 50 cents. And it came with, it was all assembled. I have started to take it apart, but a deluxe hardcover, like doesn't have the year on it, just says planner, a pen loop. Then it had, it was on black discs. It had obviously the planner for the year and then it had note paper and it had dividers for every uh, day of the month, day of the month. No, every month of the year. So my original plan was, this is what I wanna use for work. This is what I wanna use, I don't want to use, and I had originally thought I'd want to use this for work, but I don't like the coil. So I saw this picture where this had been converted to discs, and I thought that was a great idea. If I could use this as inserts for this, well then, shoot, that could be really awesome. So what I'm doing today in this video is I am taking off the coiled, well, I'm taking off the planner pages from this cloth and paper coiled planner, and I am going to cut them and put them on a disc bound system, this tool system. Cloth and paper meets tool. So if you're interested, oh, and I will for sure be using my new Jane's Agenda page marker. This came in the December, no, December? Was it December? Yes. The December Jane's Agenda subscription box. That is just the perfect little size. I'll use that to mark the current day. So love that. Oh, you guys, I'm so nervous, but let's get to it. I think what I will do is insert a lot of this fast forwarded so that this doesn't become an epically long video. So let's start taking this thing apart. All right, guys, voice over Elizabeth here, just to talk you through this process. All I did was pull the coils apart. These were really, really thin um, metal coils and so they pulled apart effortlessly. I did not need to use pliers or anything like that as you can see and once I pulled them apart I was able to just pull the pages off from the coil. This was the easiest part of the process. Uh, I absolutely love how easy this was. It kind of opens up a whole new world for me of planners and notebooks that are coil bound that I really like but don't want the coil. I, I suddenly feel like this is achievable in creating a disbound system from from planners that I that I really like. So what I did was I wanted to have eight discs on the planner. So I cut every other square until I got to the top. At the very top, there was an extra square. I did my counting wrong. And so there are three spaces, or excuse me, two spaces between the discs rather than one space between every disc. This took the longest period of time and I was so relieved when it was done. I was like, yes! Uh, and then the project goes downhill from here. So let's talk about it. You guys, I'm showing my face because I wanna keep this planner channel for real. I'm inserting a video. Uh, I have just finished cutting all of the planner pages and I realized I made a terrible mistake. Did you catch what that mistake was? Did you? Comment down below, let me know. I made the very very critical error of cutting these pages without thinking about the spacing of the holes on the deluxe cover that I plan on using. They don't line up. See what I mean? Like if I line this one up, I'll put it on my skin so you can see it. If I line this one up, that would mean I cut this one. And then maybe I should have cut that one. And then maybe that one. And then maybe that one. But even then it's getting they're getting more and more off. So I wasted time cutting because I think the only way to take this type of paper and put it on this 
is to have a proper have the paper properly punched and the only way that I can think to do that where it would look nice is to use washi tape so I'm gonna go back through I've ordered white washi tape from Amazon I'm gonna go back through and I'm going to cover the spine on every the spine on every single sheet and then I'm going to punch it I gave um, gave it a go with this washi tape just to see how it works on this tester sheet and this this will work <sighs> so learn from me I don't want to edit out the stuff that doesn't work like if you do this you should know this you should be aware of this and I want to just keep it real like we're hanging out so if you if you were not going to use a deluxe cover that has kind of your classic punching then you don't need to worry about punching and using washi you can just put it back on the original stuff do you know what I mean so if you wanted it to be exactly like the cloth and paper spiral notebook, but with discs, then the, the cutting is fine. But I want to be able to, moving forward, use all accessories that are in that junior um, half letter size. And in order to do that, I need these holes to be the same distance. I need the, the cuts to be at the same distance apart for the discs. So I'm going to exit. I'm gonna wait a couple of days for my white washi to arrive, and with the magic of time, you will see me with the washi right now. All right, guys, we are a few days later. The tape has arrived. I only got one roll because I wanted to make sure that it would work, and this will extend the project a few more days if this is not enough, and I'm, ugh, I'm fairly confident this is not enough. Maybe I'll just branch out and use some of the washi tape that I already have. Maybe I'll use some holiday washi for the December months, something like that. Um, or excuse me, the December months, the December weeks. I think I'll do that and just try to stay as neutral as possible, get this to last as long as possible to get through covering up the cuts on, on these guys. So um, I wanted to show you what I did with this in the meantime. I did put, these are metal Mickey discs. This planner for work is going to be so simple and clean on the outside and for the most part on the inside that I thought, oops, sorry, I thought I might as well have a little bit of whimsy by putting on my Mickey metal discs. Just a little bit of fun. I do have some clear discs coming in the mail. Maybe I'll put those on this, but I think for now I'm going to keep it, keep it all black. And then while I was waiting for the washi tape to arrive, I did cut, or excuse me, I did add um, washi tape. I had this marble washi tape I picked up at Walmart. I wonder if I have that somewhere. I don't have it near me. Um, but I did, you know, I thought it was a nice way to add a little bit of pattern, but it's still neutral and black and cream and white. And I thought it would work with the original cover from the cloth and paper um, December subscription box. And I can just have that at the front. I did the same thing with these guys. These were the other covers that they made available in that box. This says today's the opportunity to build the tomorrow you want. And then this feels lovely. I have no idea what this is, a doorway, a window. I don't know, but I now have these options as well if I want to change out the cover. Well, not the cover, at this point it's like a title page maybe. Um, so I do have that and it, it looks pretty nice. Um, so, and what I did do with this guy is I cut it down so it wouldn't block the months. So you can see here, this is what the full size cloth and paper cover would look like. Um, it does block. So I would need to cut these down if I, if I end up using them. But for now, I like the 2021 and what else did I do? I don't think I did anything else. This is just dying to be populated. So I'm gonna, again, go into speed mode and start covering this with washi tape. Then we will punch it. And then we will have, hopefully, a completed 2021 vertical weekly lined planner from cloth and paper in a disc bound tool, junior sized notebook. So let's do it. All right, guys, voiceover Elizabeth here. You are going to see, oh man, what a process. So I start with laying the white washi strip down and the color isn't great. So I end up going and grabbing a variety of different black and white washi that I thought would work. And eh, I, I kept going, even though it was a bit it was a bit questionable for me. I did find this diagonal striped washi that was a nice width that covered the holes perfectly. So I ended up doing this for the entire month of January. Then I get into February and I decide to go a little fancy and I throw pink washi down for the week of Valentine's Day. But something just didn't seem right and so I stopped after doing six weeks of washi I punched it, I put it in the planner, and then I realized the pages are too big. They're blocking the monthly tabs just like the covers were. So my thought was, 
well, shoot, if I need to cut them down anyways, what if I cut on the spiral side? I just cut it down and I repunch it. And sure enough, it worked. It totally works. It got the pages to the right size. Excuse me, I'm so, I'm so excited. It got the pages to the right size and it made the punching work just fine. So I did that for all the rest of the pages. Praise God, this was an option because the washi was so laborious. It was such a chore. I, I, I That process would have driven me crazy. It was so much easier to cut and punch. So that's basically what I did for the entire rest of the planner. Now, this did cause some drama when I realized that the first six months, or excuse me, the first six weeks that I had already done with the washi, those were still too big. So I did have to pull out the first six weeks and cut them off from the other side. And I'm just leaving the washi and their punch on there. It, it is what it is. All right, friends. Now, after having seen all of that, I know you're wondering, girl, was it worth it? And the answer for me is yes, 100% totally worth it. I am really happy with how it turned out. Um, it's not, this is not a project for the faint at heart. Pulling off the coil was the easiest part. And then it basically gets more challenging from there, which you just saw. So I won't recap. I'm not going to lie. The first six weeks for me are a bit of a disaster. Um, the pages are slightly different sizes and we do have, um, different types of washi being used. It's not terrible. It's not terrible at all. Um, but I will be glad to be past probably February. That's when we do transition into the method where the pages are uh, cut and repunched rather than having the washi down the center. And I think that looks just fine. So a couple of notes. Remember, this is going to be used for work, which means I'm actually not too concerned about the fact that if you see along here, this did get cut off a little bit because the punches go further in but that's not a deal breaker for me because I'm probably not going to use this page. But that is something to keep in mind if you do switch from a coil to disc bound, depending on how wide the margins were on the coil, you might go in a little bit to um, the spread that is printed or the layout of, of, um, of the pages. Uh, same thing here, I'm really only gonna log a couple of things that are work related. I don't need to be able to see or do anything decorative along the spine. I do that a lot in my other planners. I won't do that with work. This planner, I minimally decorate. It's a lot of like maybe some decorative washi, maybe some Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, and florals. Other than that, it is going to be pretty simple. So I don't, I, I don't need a lot from this. And I'm really happy with how this looks, plain and simple. Um, this again, not my favorite, but this is what I'm going to be using anyways. And, oh, I think I need to, I need to move this page over. Um, but the pages go in and out just fine. They're a little bit harder going in because um, some of the paper along here is a little bit thinner, but not bad, right? I think it looks really, really good. So thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for um, hanging out and watching my process. I hope that this was really helpful for you. This was a lot of work for me and I think it paid out uh, or paid off in the end. I am a lot smarter now, <laughs> a lot wiser. And if I do this again, I, I feel like it'll be even better. So I hope that this was awesome and I uh, hope you'll stick around and hang out with me, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Um, I am super active over on Instagram. So you can find me over there at ejjoyful underscore plans. If you wanna come hang out with me, I don't have a regular posting schedule on YouTube as of now. So getting notifications will let you know when I've posted a new video. So I think that's all I have for you guys today. Until next time, God bless you and keep you, do something freaking awesome today, do something creative. And I will see you guys later. Cheers.